Alright guys, I got a box from Kittery Trading Post on Black Friday. I ordered it. Got some pretty good savings. And I'm going to open up for you guys. So the first things first, I got a bunch of soft plastics. The first thing I got was uh, Zoom Flukes um, Watermelon Seed Color. They're a really nice color. I've caught a lot of fish on them. Really reliable, most conditions. Bass can see them, pickerel can see them, pretty much anything can see them. Pickerel and bass, absolutely love them. I highly suggest them. And so, I got another package of flukes, this time Arkansas Shiner. This is an interesting color because it's black on the top, silver on the bottom, and then gold on the side. I really think it's cool. And I think people will, I think people enjoy these, and I think the bass definitely eat them. I saw all but good reviews on these. These baits are really tough. They can be used in pretty much any water condition. Top water, slow retrieval on the bottom, Texas rig, pretty much anything you can retrieve these in. They're so good for them. Um, basically anything. They're a very, very versatile bait. They're able to be used in pretty much any condition. And I got these Gary Yamamoto creature baits. These creature baits are pretty cool. Uh, there are ten of, ten of them. I haven't used them much, but the ones that I have used, I've got them. I've got a bunch of them, and I used them in upstate New York for days. Didn't get many, but the ones that I got were quality size. They were like two pounds. They were nice, definitely nice fish. These ones I got were black and blue, so I'm going to try Texas rigging them when I use them. Texas rigging them with weight on the front and attempt to use them. And now we've got some booyah topwater. The first thing I got for the topwater was the Booyah Toad Runner, the bullfrog color. This, I really love Booyah. They're a very, very nice bait company. Their frogs are incredible. They're very, very soft, very easy to set the hook in. Most of my bass that I've caught on frogs have come from Booyah. They're really nice, and the bass have been so aggressively. The thing about this one is it has like a little foot at the end, and it comes with a spare one, it like churns up water at the end of the frog. It's a pretty nice frog, and I think I'll catch some bass on it anywhere I use it. So I got another Booyah frog, I got the Booyah Baby, Baby Frog, Pad Crasher Jr., pretty nice frog. Again, I like all the pad crashers. They have a great body, great softness, very easy to set the hook on these. And they have some really realistic color. Like this one, I haven't used um, the Booyah in this color before, which is why I got it. But it's a really nice color, I think. And I'm hoping that the brightness will help catch some bass on some of those darker days. Another Booyah topwater is the buzzbait. I got this Booyah buzzbait because I've never, I've never used buzzbaits before. I've seen them used. I've seen them definitely get huge reaction strikes on them. I've seen them get hooked fish, hooked big, big fish too. But I've never used them myself. I, I really don't know why. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy finding and using lures. So that's what I did with the buzz bait. And then you got your standard little spinner bait. I got this for the spring and fall. Unfortunately, I got it a little too late to use for the fall this time. So I mean, I mean it's too bad, but they're really nice spinner baits. I enjoy them a lot. Another Booyah bait, I got 
the Booyah Finance Jig. These, I've been running low on jigs for a while, so I decided to get some more, and I got all of these lures. I just picked these up. They're pretty nice. Uh, they are 3 8 ounce. They're decently heavy. They have a nice head. Um, if anything, I'd use probably a crayfish trailer or a creature bait on the end. Simulate crayfish. Pretty nice. I've used these before. They're definitely quality. I've caught some nice bass in really small ponds on these. They're definitely quality. And, of course, I picked up some live target stuff while I was there. First thing from live target I picked up was the live target sunfish. The live target sunfish is a really nice thing. It's pretty nice. When I first saw this, like, at the beginning of the year, I was expecting it to dive, which is not the case. Of course, I learned that very quickly as people I saw use these, and they were pretty nice. I've seen the action on them. They were very good. They're very soft, just like Booyah. They're just a little bit overpriced. They have great detail, though. That's what I give by Target. They have amazing detail on their frogs and all of their lures. Another live Target bait. It's a little frog. Again, I picked up a smaller frog on this hand because I mainly have bigger frogs. I'm trying to get some bites on the smaller frogs. Preferably bass, because the smaller frogs that I've used at Norwood between us kind of lost them because of pickerel. Their teeth are very annoying. Alright, so speaking of pickerel, I got one of the best lures for pickerel. These lures, they are not, not good for weeds. But when you're reeling in, in around structure and uh, around weed beds, not throwing them in weed beds, but throwing them near weed beds, I give them props. They're really good. This is the Daredevil. It has a white and red pattern front and a silver back. It reflects light very well, and for some reason, these are like candy to pickerel. They are addicted to these. I've caught so many damn pickerel on these. It's unbelievable. The pickerel and pike, the one pike I've ever caught, bit this. It's a pretty nice lure, and then I ended up losing it. So I got another one. And can't go wrong with the chatterbait. I got a really nice chatterbait. It is the Z-Man Project Z chatterbait. I absolutely love these chatterbaits, although I lose them pretty, pretty easily. I end up hooking logs or something with them, but because I fish around a lot of structure with them, they're really nice, and I've picked up tons and tons of fish on these. I absolutely love these chatterbaits. This one looks relatively like a golden shiner. It's a half an ounce, which I really, really like about it. Half ounce and above, I prefer to throw because they're pretty heavy. I can cast them pretty far. I get pretty good action on them, so I enjoy them. And the final lure. This lure is amazing. It's just, I've seen them used so much. This is the Whopper Plopper. These Whopper Ploppers are absolutely crazy. So, if you don't, if you haven't heard of a Whopper Plopper, it's again a topwater bait. It has these two treble hooks. They're very, very good, and um, they have a really high hookup ratio, which I find really nice. But the thing about them is the end of the tail right there. It spins in the water. It's kind of like a buzz bait like this, except it's smaller and looks like a fish's tail, so it makes it swim, like, swim on the surface, and it looks really, really nice. I've seen a lot of fish been caught on these, although I don't know a lot of people who have them. 
I really find them really nice. I really find them nice. So I got I picked one up. Open and catch some fish on these. This is another segment of the unboxing video. I got another package today. Um, so let's open it up and see what's in it. Alright, so I just opened this up. And the first thing I pulled out is this chatterbait. This chatterbait is called Breaking Beam. It's on a Z Man. It's Z Man. They're really nice. These. These just have so good quality. I can't. I couldn't resist getting any more. It looks exactly like a bluegill. These things are absolutely amazing. Like they slay. This one's half ounce. The color is breaking beam. It's super nice. Um, it has a rather big hook, but most shatter baits of this size do. And yeah, these guys. I absolutely love throwing these guys in murky water, like ponds like Norwood. I throw these all day. I get so many bites on these. They're super nice. The next thing I got was these Swing Impact Paddle Tails. These Paddle Tails are really nice. Um, they're like Golden Shiner colored, if you can see that. They're pretty nice. They come in package of six. They're 3.8 inches long. They're really good quality. I've had some of these before. I didn't get to use them much, but the one time I did, I caught so many bass on these, and they were pretty big too. These are very quality lures. I really like them. And I got another soft plastic. Uh, this time, Zoom Swimming Flukes. These guys are flukes except they have a paddle tail at the end they can be rigged weightless on texas rig or any other different rig rig but um i really like to throw this type of thing like a weightless texas rig or weight weighted texas rig uh weighted to punch through mats um unweighted if it's like just dark water and i can like throw it around structure they're really nice. Zoom always makes super high quality stuff. I absolutely love Zoom, as you've obviously heard about my other stuff. Um, Alright, so we have a different chatterbait this time. It is the Project Z series again. Half ounce, but this one's a chart sexy shad. This one's pretty nice. Um, the, the colors are interesting. It's basically chartreuse. I really like it. I've had these before, this color, and I caught quite a few fish on them, but I ended up losing it to a log, as I always do. But they're really nice. Chatterbait, it has a um, really nice um, brass colored um, blade. Um, these blades give off superior um, vibration. I I just so highly suggest getting these. They're they're crazy good. Alright, so we're down to our last two items for this shipment. This one is a black and blue chatterbait. See, for these uh for those dark, dark, dark waters that um can't re and I can't really throw the other ones in because it just gets dark and out. This one, I got this one so it would stand out a little bit more. Of course, um, the black and blue chatterbaits, they're always super nice. Black and blue jigs, I like them. I've got some stuff on them, not very often, because the water I fish most often isn't the color that they're biting these thing, these this color in particular. They'll bite anything else, but... See, I got this one because... It's really necessary if you're going to darker areas. They're pretty nice. I highly suggest them. Black and blue, half ounce Z Man Chatterbait. And we are down to our last item. Again, Zoom. I, I can't help it with these things. These things are just so high quality. But they are, they're basically just a soft plastic jerk bait. You just rig them Texas, unweighted. 
they absolutely slay. The reason I got this one is it's basic is it's watermelon colored. It's watermelon colored if you can see that. Uh, really dark green and uh, speckled with red. But what I find most interesting about it is the tail. The tail is bright red. Uh, I think that uh, bass will be able to see these from basically anywhere. Pecker will see them just strike out. I absolutely love this color. With the addition of the red tail, I think it is superior to a lot in ponds like Norwood. Alright guys, so I'm going to talk with you about Norwood a little bit over it. Alright guys, anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, weekend. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Happy holidays.